This is the Venuela and it is the brand new secret mission creature and we finally got it. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get it and I'll also be showcasing its stats and abilities. So um, yeah, like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so to get this creature fast and efficiently, you are going to want a few things. Before we get started, if you have access to a private server, that is highly recommended since you don't want anyone trying to kill you when you're doing the mission. Okay, so now let me tell you guys about the secret mission. So the secret mission is as a Larache in one summer session kill 10 fully grown tier 3 flying creatures okay so you're gonna want to get yourself a larachu as you can see this is the larachu and it is a photovore and it is quite easy to get again as the larachu you're gonna be needing to kill 10 fully grown tier 3 flying creatures and for those tier 3 flying creatures i recommend using either the Ares or the norskog as they are the fastest growing tier 3 flying creatures and if you don't have them you could also use the sotri or the tundric so once you have picked your creature of choice you want to fully grown 10 of them and i highly recommend using alt accounts or having friends help you out with this now there is a trick to grow your creatures faster and they have to be a herbivore for this to work so for example the norse cog and the aries what you could do is click on your plush and if you have eric's plushies go ahead and put those on as they make your creature grow faster and if you have a private server you can go ahead and spawn in and in a private server whenever you spawn in it is always springtime and if you guys don't know herbivores grow two times faster in the spring so during the spring you will be growing a lot faster and also you have the two eric's plushies so you're gonna be growing maybe in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes so yeah it's pretty quick and uh basically when the spring season is over all you got to do is leave the private server and make sure that no one's in it leave the private server and then rejoin it and it will be spring again and then you just repeat this over and over again and um yeah guys it does take a lot of time but uh this makes it a lot faster for sure once you have fully grown 10 of your tier 3 flying creatures, put them on an alt account or have a friend use them because you're going to be needing them to kill. Once you get yourself your Larachu, what you want to do is go ahead and spawn in and make sure that you are fully grown and head to the oasis. Once you're at the oasis, basically you're just going to be waiting until summertime. So um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of waiting. And again, I highly recommend private servers. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky because this mission, you actually have to kill all 10 of those tier 3 flying creatures as the Larachu in one summer session. And if you don't know what one summer session means, well, it basically means as soon as it turns summer, you want to kill 10 of those tier 3 flying creatures that you grew as fast as possible because it would suck if the season did change midway through while you're trying to do the mission you got to do it as quick as possible and hope that the season doesn't change okay so now it is summer and i'm going to be killing all of these show trees that i grew and they are fully grown i gave it to my little brother and uh, he's going to be helping me out with this mission again make sure that you are a larachu and make sure that it is summertime and make sure that you are killing a tier 3 flying creature during summer and do it in one session so try to do it as quick as possible and hope that the season does not change The final kill guys we are almost there it is summertime hopefully it doesn't change okay there's tom and we're gonna be going to kill tom right now and we should unlock the new creature and yes guys there we go we have finally unlocked it all right guys after such a long time let's go ahead and go to the photovore gacha and uh we should have it unlocked now and here we are the photovore gacha and if we yeah it is literally right here the venuela and look at it guys it is an 8.8 percent .8 drop rate and i have a bunch of photovore tokens so so yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Hopefully we get it first try. And oh my gosh, guys, it's literally been such a long, long time. Uh, hopefully we can get it. Wait, we got two courier sirs. A Shirayo. And uh, another courier sir. And then another courier. Wait, what is this? Okay, let's open it another five times. And hopefully we can get it, guys. Yes, we finally got it. 
let's go guys okay so i think i still have a bunch of photo board tokens so i'm gonna be opening this gotcha until i have no more tokens and uh if i get any extras i will do a giveaway and um yeah so uh, let, let's see if we get any more All right, guys, so after such a long, long grind, we finally got the Venuela species. And if we go to species, as you can see, the Venuela is here and we have four of them. And that means that I'm going to be giving away two of these inside of my Discord server. All right, guys, so go to my Discord server and go to the giveaway area and then you can enter by reacting to the icon. And um, yeah, guys, be sure to join the giveaway. Make sure you guys meet the requirements. And um, yeah, guys, and here it is, guys, we finally get to check it out. And it is a Venus flytrap creature. And let's Let's go ahead and check out these stats so it has 9500 hp 350 damage 110,000 weight 120 minutes to grow and it's a tier 5. now onto the creature abilities and this is quite exciting because it has the bleed defense of 20 percent it is four bleed two toxin and two poison toxin means that whenever you bite this creature you get two toxin and whenever this creature attacks the creature it also deals two poison so that is very good and it also has bleed reflect of two percent so that is like literally insane it also has iron stomach and area poison guys this creature is stacked with abilities all right guys so we have spawned in as the venuela and look at it guys it is a huge Venus flytrap creature and it has two heads. So it is a Venus flytrap hydra creature, I guess you can say. And yeah, it is pretty insane. All right. So do you guys think it is worth all of that time that we spent trying to figure out how to actually get this creature? Because again, it is a secret mission creature and it took forever for people to actually figure out what you actually had to do to unlock this creature. And uh, yeah, guys, all I can say is, is it was very chaotic and very, very frustrating, but we finally got the creature. All right, let's go ahead and check out the animations now, all right? Hopefully, this creature was worth it, all right, guys? Okay, so here's the Z animation right here. There we go, look at that, that is pretty cool. And then the X animation. And then the N animation. And then the sitting animation. And then the sleeping animation and there we go guys those are all the animations for this creature and uh like i said honestly i think it's worth it um you know it is a secret mission creature and it was honestly quite frustrating because we had to do like a, an experiment and just do like a bunch of crazy things to get this creature but in the end we finally got it and uh, hopefully you guys get it too all right guys oh look at that it's a photo board token Maybe this Photovore token can get us another Venuela. But yeah, guys, if you guys are curious what Photovore tokens are, I mean, most of you guys should know what it is. But this is what you need to unlock it. And also, you need to complete the mission, of course. And there we go, guys. We stepped on the token, and now we got it. And uh, yeah, guys, that is honestly pretty much it for this creature. Honestly, I don't even know what to say because it took forever to get this creature. But um, yeah, guys, here's the Venuela. It has been quite the journey. And uh, yeah, we finally got the Venuela. And I hope you guys all get it too. And tell me down in the comments, what are your thoughts on this creature? And do you think it was worth all of that time trying to figure out what was the secret mission? All right, guys. And if you guys are still curious how to get it, just go ahead and rewatch the video since I did explain how to actually get it. And um, yeah, guys. I'm gonna go to sleep now because I am quite tired. It is one in the morning for me right now. And um, yeah, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.